Hello everyone, my name is Kyle and welcome back to another reaction. For those of you who don't know, I make movie and sometimes TV show reactions and today we are reacting to season 1 episode 4 of 12 Monkeys. In the last episode, um, we got a lot, to, we had a lot to deal with. So Cole met Cassie before he is currently doing things with her, but after he had already kidnapped her and she was not in a good place. She did not handle seeing someone disappear in front of her well, and now she's seeing disease everywhere. So we learned that in the year between those two time travels, she, she went through it. Um, and then Cole, apparently, he's just jumping all over the place. It's, you know, it's very clear his storyline through this season and probably the series if he survives, I assume he survives, uh, is going to be not linear whatsoever. He killed uh, one of Cassie's, uh, I don't know, yeah, I guess you call friends. I was just going to say like acquaintances, but friends. She slept with him. Um, and I, I kind of understood why he did it. Like the guy knew where this supposed virus was being stored. And it's like, well, you know, <laughs> If the 12 monkeys had gotten their hands on him, he probably would have given it up. So, I mean, he gave it up to Cole really easy. So the 12 monkeys probably wouldn't have even had to torture him. They probably just could have tricked him into thinking that he was giving it to, like, a reasonable person. So, but yeah, Cole killed him. Or, uh, I shouldn't say that. We don't know, but it's pretty much assumed. I mean, we didn't see the guy go down, but we saw the trigger get pulled and he was right in front of it, so... But anyways, let's get into this episode. And as always, if you like the video, give me a like. You want to let me know what you think. Comment down below. And actually, I am going to say this. Really, guys, like these videos. Not just be, or comment. Not just because I'm like, oh, I want engagement and stuff. But because I have to have some way of like knowing whether or not you guys are liking what you're seeing. Otherwise, I kind of just have to guess. And be like, yeah, they like this. Or no, they hate this. I, I don't know. So if you like it, let me know by either liking it or commenting. Uh, you want to see more because I put out videos every single weekend. Go ahead and subscribe. Full video is in the description down below. But otherwise, let's go. Okay, we're in 2015. So what am I looking at here? Possible sites of the night room. She's going CIA on their ass. You got all this from the CDC? Yeah. And some cold calls. And if they find it first? We stop them. Kill them? That's what it takes, yeah. You can't get cold feet now. They're gonna kill seven billion people. You're worth seven billion. I know how it works now. Look, if you knew what it was like back there, what I've seen, you'd understand. I have a feeling at some time she's gonna go forward in time with him. I don't know anything about you. What is there to know? Where were you born? When were you born? Look, we stay focused on the mission, none of that's gonna matter. Although I can see why she might not, or he might not want her to know that, because then she could interfere. That seemed, uh, 2032. So this is before the time travel. Might be too hungry to move anywhere, man. We're down to scraps. Is it like a pig? Oh. Oh, d don't kill the doggo. Don't kill, don't kill the doggo. Take the shot. Uh, I'm taking it, I'm taking it now. I'm starving. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> we'll find something. Maybe the dog will help you hunt. Always do. No, we're in Atari. It means you're out of moves. What's going on? Why am I back here? We brought you back before your scheduled return. This shot will help with the pain. <coughs> Side effects of time travel? Careful. Here. Let me orient you. We got a problem. Took down two scavs on the perimeter this morning. West 7. That didn't take long. My guess is they don't care about, like, any of the technology either. They just want the power and the food and... This is our old crew, okay? Now, Deacon, the guy that runs them... Got it. Scav King. Don't underestimate him. Take Mr. Cole and Mr. Ramsey with you up top. How's Cassie? Before I splintered, she was asking me all kinds of questions. Are you going to tell her about your best friend? Guy who devours blondes for dinner? I think you'd like Cassie, though. She reminds me of you. Always waving her moral compass around. 
I like Ramsey. So this is how they're going to get, like, initiated into this West 11, right? Or not West 11, West 7. I would listen to your friend, son. Oh, God, I've seen him in a lot. But I can't remember what. Do you know who we are? West 7. He slaughtered everybody at the Western 7 quarantine zone. Oh. The world belongs to the immune, to us. And it appears we have a couple of openings. <laughs> You're real survivors. My ancient history is a little bit r rusty, but I'm pretty sure this is what, like, the Romans did, right? Where they would collect different groups into their army instead of just killing them. I am Deacon. Is one of the things that made them so strong. Wasting bullets. Wasting bullets. Clear down here. What do you got? Nothing up top. That wasn't much of an assault. Diversion? There was a diversion. Yeah, Deacon's putting on a show. Oh, God. No. We are moving in. Uh. I don't feel like sharing. Food, water, booze, women. Brady survivors. Or did boys find a way to survive without doing the same? Cole seems to be taking a liking to this guy pretty quickly. Eyes open. Always. Oh, is he gonna kill Ramsey? Come here. We're sealed inside a splitter chamber. Deacon's right outside the door. Oh, fuck. No. You're on your own from here on out. What are you talking about? Maybe they'll take him hostage. I'm sorry. What? What is happening? Ramsey. Ramsey. Is he gonna go back in time? Like, to before this happened? Can he do that? Wouldn't he risk meeting himself? Back to Dr. Rayleigh, for good. You will not have my support. Oh. But you'll have hers. She's willing to sacrifice herself. That's, I mean, it's freaking brave. Most likely we'll never see each other again. Goodbye, Mr. Cole. So he's just gonna be back in time permanently now. I was not expecting them to do something like this, and we're only four episodes in. Robin sad sacks. For dog food? Part of a tribe now, brother. That's what this is? This is a tribe? You know, ironically, this is probably something similar to what we did to Neanderthals. Not because of a virus, just because I think we're kind of an asshole species. But, yeah. It's over! We already took their shit. I like Ramsey, but I actually kind of agree leaving them live. to survive. Create an enemy. Yeah. We, we're not creating anything. Yes, we are. Shame about the meek. They don't inherit shit. Go! And this is gonna be what makes him think that he needs to kill Ramsey, right? And then Cole is gonna help Ramsey escape from the West Seven. Jeez. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know why I'm here? Not for anything good. Ramsey's got his own way of looking at things. Do you like it here? Very manipulative if he's gonna ask Cole to do it instead of doing it himself. Oh, Jesus. He just offered. But Ramsey has to go. Now, I could do it. I'd have to make an example out of him. Oh, this is BS. He wants Cole to kill him because that's the only way he can know if Cole isn't also a problem. Men like us understand what the world is now to survive. Well, you can rationalize it any way you want. You know what's interesting about these people is they actually create their own need to exist, which is just, I don't know, Considering this, the show is about time travel, it's kind of interesting that that is sort of a paradox, a, a weird paradox. I mean, it's a self-fulfilling kind of prophecy, not a paradox, but like people like Deacon exist well in their own environment. Like he's right. If I were Deacon in the situation that Deacon has created, 
I would probably want Ramsey gone. And it is smart of him to have Cole do it. Because, I mean, like I said, he can tell Cole that it's, you know, better for Ramsey. And maybe it is better for Ramsey. But I think that Deacon's calculus is, if I kill Ramsey, there's no guarantee that Cole won't want to take revenge on me. But if I get Cole to kill Ramsey, then, I mean, the worst he might have to look forward to is Cole killing himself out of grief. But he probably won't blame Deacon, or he won't blame Deacon more than he blames himself. So, I mean, it's a very good, like, psychological trick there. But if Ram, not Ramsey, if Deacon and people like him didn't exist, then they wouldn't need to behave that way. Like, it's a cruel world because Deacon is not the only person like himself. And... It's not really a fair world either, because even if Deacon were to take the high road, there's nothing preventing someone else like him from not taking the high road. I think if you're living in a first world nation, I think it's easy to convince yourself that good must always triumph over evil, because that's kind of what we're like spoon fed from the time we're born. Um, but what made me make the Neanderthal comment a little while back is I'm actually reading a book right now um, called um, I'm reading a book right now called Sapiens and uh, right now they're talking about the other forms of or other species of humans that used to exist and how there are hypotheses that we may have wiped them out for uh, reasons who knows so <laughs> like Civilization, human civilization, actually may have began with the genocide of an entire species. And if that isn't, like, a really solid way to say sometimes good doesn't always... The, the good thing, the moral thing, doesn't always come out on top. Because, let's say humans make it for another 10,000 years, or we fly off into space. I mean, even now! it's a fact. It's a fact that we may have wiped out Neanderthals. But I can't say that I feel bad that we did. I mean, I have no emotional connection to that. So, ethical questions. It's nice that he chose Ramsey, though. That he didn't do it. Though, I mean, in reality, that's kind of going against the grain of what I just said, that sometimes good doesn't win. That was you. You led them right to us. Oh crap, what time did he go to? Holy shit. Salutations, my friend Cole. What day is it? Is it Wednesday? Damn, how hard did you hit him? Oh, he only went back a couple of days. Oh, this, we're, we're jumping around a lot. We got 2015, 2035, 2043, a couple of days before the present in 2043. <sighs> Imagine how Cole feels. He must be so confused half the time. I don't know how much more shit I can take from that guy. You talked to him already. I would like to think that good makes it at least a dent in the grand scheme of things. And even if it doesn't, that's no reason not to try. So... Take it. Deacon may be smarter, but I like Ramsey more. I think it's what you came here to do with it. I don't, I don't even know why we're wasting time. I don't even know who you are, man. I'm a survivor. Deacon's a cult. His followers, his followers are murderers. When we had to. Whatever this world is now, it shouldn't be this, man. So here's the question. Does Cole leave with him? Or does he let Ramsey go, and then Cole eventually gets kicked out because of it? Man, I gotta get out of here tonight. Are we ever told why humans aren't civilizing again? Is that a word? Civilizing? Building culture and civilization over? Like, why are they moving from place to place? Like, um, nomads. This girl has some unresolved issues where you're concerned. 
Uh oh. I know. I know. Oh. Well, this. Is that like this ass? Picked up from the daughters. Oh, Acid. Wow. Have a nice trip, Cole. Oh, like acid, acid, like something psychedelic. I thought I meant like acidic. You understand that, right? <sighs> Deacon's just gonna wear you down. They're gonna kill Ramsey. There's nothing you can do. Save him. Ah! I need to save him. Sorry, buddy. No! I'm sorry, Max. Please, please, I'm sorry. Please help me. There's another interest in the compound. Where? It's on the south side of the building. It's a tunnel system. That did not take long. And clearly he doesn't have a plan. Tell the men to get ready. You got it. They're not gonna kill him. Before dawn. Oh. Oh. Okay. What are you doing? Making her bed. I don't I mean, know. You're, you're gonna have to kill him now. This way. We're gonna have to run. Truck's just a distraction. We still have time. How do you know? So this isn't a loop? No, because he can change time. So this just must be the first time. He went back. No, because he heard that. He heard that in the first one. So this must be a loop of some kind. Where are you going? Trust me. Home. Oh, he's gonna go save Ramsey. Mm. That's why we didn't see Ramsey die. The gunshots were cold. I'm in Atari. I'm so happy that Ramsey survives. Ramsey, you all right? How's it feel to be experiencing this firsthand? It's pretty cool. The way they're just like closing this. Oh. oh. Guess she did see you again. He lost a lot of men. We got that machine. We do it right this time. She would jump like that. She couldn't do it again if she wanted to. You guys gonna pick up where you left off? Nah. That's gonna be competing with Cassie. Because, I mean, Cole's got feelings for Cassie. I want you to talk to her. Bring up your friend. The one who eats blondes for breakfast. Yes, him. Take a shot. Worth the risk. Oh, is he gonna like go back in time and just like sweep her off her feet? Cole. So if you want to know about me, I'll tell you. Cole. What? I found it. Oh. I found the night room. Here we go. All right. And that was my reaction to 12 Monkeys Season 1, Episode 4. That was a really good episode. Uh, I liked that I got to kind of dissect some of it. Um, I hope I hope you guys like when I do that. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if I'm, like, being too pretentious or something when I have those little dissection moments. But that's how my brain works. Um, so, anyways, I thought it was a good episode. Like, if you like. Comment if you comment. That makes no sense. Like if you like. Comment if you have an opinion. Subscribe to see more. Like I said, every weekend. And the full version is in the description down below. Also, come chat with me on Discord. But really, guys, like or comment. Give me some way of knowing that you're into this. Bye.